cost of living crisis and the rate of the pound being in the toilet, it can seem like costs to visit Disneyland Paris are spiraling. If you have an upcoming trip to Disneyland Paris and you're looking for ways to cut back on some costs, or if you'd like to visit Disneyland Paris but are wondering how you can make it more affordable, then today I am going to tell you all the ways that you can save money at Disneyland Paris. My name is Sophie from Most Magical Guides and I make planning videos full of helpful tips on how to help you have your own most magical trips to Disneyland Paris and Disney World. I also vlog my own trips, often it's solo trips, so if you do like that type of thing make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell notification so you know whenever I post a new video. Dining whilst at Disneyland Paris can eat into your budget, so one of the easiest ways to save some money is to stick to quick service meals. Quick service dining at Disney is similar to fast food. You order at our counter, you then go and collect the food yourself and seat yourself and this is the most affordable way to dine whilst at Disney. Dishes can cost between kind of 8 to 12 euro and they also do meal deals so it's around 16 euro where you get a main and then either a side or a dessert and a drink. Doing a meal deal can help you cut down costs because drinks are almost 4 euro on their own so adding that little extra cost to turn it into a meal deal if it's available can be a great way to save money. Disneyland Paris has lots of different quick service restaurants that have lots of different cuisines and you'll find them in both parks so they're a really easy way to dine whilst at Disneyland Paris. Another great thing is that the menus are all online so ahead of your trip you can see which restaurants have food that you like but also you can check out the costs so you know how much to budget before you go. If at Disneyland Paris you are wanting to try out a table service meal then buffets tend to be slightly cheaper than these restaurants that serve these set menus. Typically they are a three course set menu although some do offer a two course set menu that's usually around 10 euros cheaper so do go and check out all those menus so you know where to dine and how much it's going to cost you. I recently did a video all about the best restaurants at Disneyland Paris so I'll link that in the description down below and I do include quick service restaurants in this so you can find out some of my favourite places and the places I recommend to dine at Disneyland Paris in that video. So it is future Sophie here and since I recorded this video some massive changes have come to Disneyland Paris when it comes to dining. We have seen restaurant prices increase significantly. I'm talking crazy amounts. Buffets and table service restaurants, the prices have increased between three euro to up to 16 euro, which is unbelievable. So the prices of the meals have gone up significantly. This may be something you will need to consider when visiting Disneyland Paris. I know myself, some of the restaurants I was thinking of eating in, I will probably now cancel because they are just not worth the cost anymore. We are used to seeing increases every now and then. And when you see a three euro increase, it's unhelpful because over the cost of your holiday, that will add up, but you get used to it. Seeing unprecedented rates such as a 16 euro increase in a menu is unbelievable. And I actually think it's quite unreasonable with no improvement in the quality of food or the experience, I don't really see how it is justified. Because of this, now more than ever, quick service dining will definitely be the cheapest and most affordable way to dine at Disneyland Paris. It is worth noting that there have been some changes in prices to quick service menus. They haven't gone up massively, but the biggest thing to note is that with the meal deals that used to come with a dessert, that is no longer being offered. So the price is the same, but you're now getting less for your money. Character dining restaurants are the ones that have been most impacted by these changes. Auberge de Cendrillon, which is the princess character dining meal, has gone from a remarkable 79 euro up to an unbelievable 95 euro per person. Now, this was my favorite restaurant I've been to at Disneyland Paris. The food was great, the princesses were incredible, but it is not worth nearly a hundred euro per person. The other character dining location, which is Plaza Gardens, that has also seen an increase. That has gone from 69 euro up to 80 euro for a buffet. A buffet that costs 80 euro. It is a great way to meet characters without queuing for a long period of time, but it comes at such a premium, I don't know if it is worth it. If you are wanting to cut costs at Disneyland Paris, I would say skip over character dining meals now. You simply are not going to get your money's worth with the crazy prices we are now seeing. So I would say either try and get to the Princess Pavilion and the Mickey Mouse Pavilion early to meet them, or look out in the parades. You can wave in interact, take photos, 
photos and that might be a really good way to see the characters without waiting for a long period of time or paying crazy amounts of money. Next Wednesday I am going to do a video all about these changes. I'm going to let you know which restaurants have been impacted, the price increases and which restaurants quite frankly now are just simply not worth the cost. One of the best ways to save money at Disneyland Paris is to visit in the off season. If you visit between November and March and you avoid Christmas and New Year and school holidays this is when the rates are the cheapest. I tend to do a lot of my visits in the off season and I just really like it because you're getting much more bang for your buck and it means you have more with your budget to play with when it comes to dining, experiences, stuff like that. I've previously done a video all about what is the best time of year to visit Disneyland Paris and I'll also link that in the description down below so you can see the pros and cons of going off season and how it can kind of help you out in having a great Disney experience but for a much cheaper price. Another thing that can help you save money is staying off site. What this means is not staying on Disney property in a Disney hotel. Luckily there are lots of hotels in the vicinity and they're really easy to get to. Some have free shuttles to Disneyland Paris, there are loads of hotels that are just one train stop away and because you've got the train station right at Disneyland Paris that's super super handy. If you can stay at one that has a free shuttle that is the best option because you're not paying anything. If you do stay one that is just one stop away you will have to pay a fee for the train but luckily it's not too expensive. I stayed off site in May this year at Campanile Val de France and I will link to that video below so you can see what that hotel was like. I really enjoyed it. I got a really really cheap fantastic rate. It was super easy to get to. The free shuttle was really handy. It did get quite busy at peak times so you may want to consider using an uber but they did seem to have more frequent buses so if one was busy if you waited a little while you'd get another one and it would be empty so it always worked out one thing that i would say though to be careful of is that if you stay off site you will need to purchase your tickets now if you stay at a disney hotel they are included so sometimes adding on the cost of the tickets can mean it isn't as cheap to stay off site as it first seems and sometimes it can even be more expensive than staying at a disneyland paris hotel so definitely price up both versions to make sure you are getting the best deal. I would also recommend looking at different websites. If you book directly with Disney, you do get a lot of benefits such as a low deposit. You can then pay off in dribs and drabs whenever you have the money, which is fantastic. And you also can cancel up to seven days ahead of your trip with free cancellation and a full refund, which is super fantastic. But if you are looking for better deals, then sometimes you can use websites such as Expedia and they do hotel and park ticket deals. So it's the same thing as you would be getting staying at a Disneyland Paris hotel, but sometimes the cost is cheaper. So it's definitely worth checking these out. Another way to save money on dining at Disneyland Paris is to think about dining at Disney Village. Here you have lots of different restaurants, both table service and quick service, but they tend to be cheaper than dining in the parks. If you're looking for super cheap meals, then you could go to places like Earl of Sandwich, McDonald's and Pret-a-Manger. If you're looking for mid-range, Vapiano is somewhere I highly recommend. It sells pizza and pasta and it's delicious. It's really good. And then you also have chains and franchises such as Rainforest Cafe or fan favourite Annette's Diner and although they are the most expensive because they are table service they're still cheaper than eating at table service restaurants in the parks. Disney Village is literally right in front of the parks it's like a five minute walk away so it's super easy to go there for lunch or dinner because you are right in the vicinity so you're not going to have to go out of your way so it's definitely worth looking at these restaurants and their menus to see their prices and what type of food they serve because this is a really good way to cut down costs whilst at Disneyland Paris. A tip that I think is really handy and particularly if you have kids is to buy merch ahead of getting to Disneyland Paris. Things like bubble wands and ponchos, autograph books, all things like that you will be able to find either in shops or online in the UK for a much cheaper price and a lot of them will still be Disney franchise so although they might not be official merchandise they are licensed products it's still Disney and it's just so much cheaper than buying them in the park. I'm a big fan of going to Primark where you have the backpacks, the bags and now they even sell ears and they're a really great place to buy Disney merchandise but it'd be significantly cheaper than buying the official merchandise in the parks. And of course this is also where I get a lot of my clothing. It's super super cheap although I do love buying the clothes in the parks. A t-shirt in Primark is maybe seven, eight pounds and in the parks you're looking at 20, 25 euro. So it's a much cheaper way to go fully Disneyfied but for a much 
much cheaper cost. That being said, not everything at Disneyland Paris is totally unaffordable. If you were looking for small souvenirs like magnets, these are around five euros. So you can definitely go there and take things home with you as mementos, but you don't have to break the bank to do it. One of the biggest benefits to staying in a Disneyland Paris hotel that I personally feel is that you get extra magic hours. This means you can enter the parks an hour earlier and they are much quieter. Therefore, the queues are much smaller and you get on loads of the big rides really quick compared to the rest of the day. If you are staying at a Disneyland Paris hotel, make sure you take advantage of extra magic hours because you can actually save money this way. The super popular rides can get really, really long queues. And if you're only there for a short period of time or there's a ride you're desperate to go on, you might feel like you need to buy Premier Access or Premier Access Ultimate to go on these rides. But I would say use extra magic hours and head to those big rides then. That way, not only are you getting on them with a much shorter queue time, you're not then going to fork out to pay to go on them later on in the day. I've also done a video all about Premier Access and Premier Access Ultimate, what it is, how much it costs, what rides are included, everything you need to know, and I'll put that in the description down below as well. You can also pay to reserve your seats in some of the shows at Disneyland Paris, and this is a big question people often ask, is it worth it, should you do it, will I be able to see them without it, and you absolutely do not need to pay. If you don't want to pay, you might have to get there a little bit earlier, some shows people arrive even an hour in advance, but if you don't mind doing that, or you're happy to kind of chance it and get there closer to the time, knowing that you may not get in, but I've been lucky and have been able to get in before, and I've been there like 15 minutes before the show starts, then I would try that instead of paying out. It costs 15 euro per person to see a show, so you can quickly add up costs by paying out, but if you're happy to wait or chance it and see if you can get in, then definitely save that money or put it towards your food or even souvenirs. An easy way to save some money quickly is to take a refillable water bottle with you. Drinks cost around four euro in the park, so you can quickly eat into your budget if you're buying drinks all the time. But if you take a reusable water bottle with you, you can fill up with water in the morning. And they do have water fountains. Because of COVID, they weren't active. I think we are starting to see them come back. So you can get free water that way. If you aren't keen on the taste of water in its own, you can buy those miniature squash pouch things now. And you can just squeeze that into your bottle. And then you've got a little bit of flavour. So that can be a really good way of saving a lot of money. They're super small to put in your bag. And it just makes it easy easier to digest the taste if you aren't a fan of water on its own. I would also say keep an eye out for offers. Disney do sometimes do offers where you get a free night, a free meal plan, or you can travel free on the Euro Tunnel, and these can really help cut down on your costs. So do keep an eye out for when they release these special offers because they can be a way to save a lot of money. Now this next thing on the list can save you money or can be a waste of money. So I'm going to do a separate video all about it, but I am talking about the Disneyland Paris meal plan. Now this is a way that you pay in advance for a certain amount of meals. They have lots of different packages so you can have just breakfast or you can have half board or full board and it costs a different amount depending on which hotel you're staying in and what type of meal plan you want. Sometimes this can be really handy because you will have already paid off all of your meal costs in advance. You won't need to pay anything out there. You know exactly what it's cost you and that can be really good. If you utilize the meal plan well then you really can get your money's worth and it can be fantastic. What I would say is if you don't plan in advance your dining reservations and you end up using your vouchers on quick service meals, you're not getting your money's worth. If a lot of the table service restaurants serve food you don't really like, it's probably not worth it. Or if you're someone like me that has a dietary requirement, I'm a vegan, I don't think it works out that well for me because a big part of the cost is the breakfast. The breakfast just not, does not have any, very many options at all for someone like me who is vegan and so for me financially it doesn't work out have a little look and see if it is something that does work for you it either is really good or really bad but it depends on your circumstances very soon i'm gonna be doing a video all about the disneyland paris meal plan what it costs what is included who it benefits and who it's not great for so do keep an eye out for that as i said as a vegan the meal plan doesn't really work out for me because of the breakfast element so one way that i cut down on costs a lot at disneyland paris is by taking breakfast with me. Usually I will take cereal bars or protein bars and they're really small to fit in your case. They're quite cheap and they're filling. That is what I have for breakfast and it saves me a lot of money. The amount it would cost me to have breakfast in a Disneyland Paris hotel 
is actually more than it would cost to have a quick service meal in the park. So instead of paying out for breakfast where there aren't many options for me, I get rid of that and I use that money towards a quick service meal in the park instead. This works really well for me because it saves me a ton of money. So what I would say is take maybe half an hour or an hour just to look up the menus, see what food is at Disneyland Paris and the costs and which way you can do it that will benefit you the most. Sometimes eating at your hotel is great because you can have a meal and fill up in the day. It's always buffets. So there's lots of things you can go and eat and fill up on. For other people, that might not be the best option. And instead, they will use that money to buy a lunch or a dinner. So I would definitely say just take a little while out to go and research the menus and the cost to see what works for you. And be sure to check out my meal plan video because it will have all of the information in one place. So those are my tips for cutting down costs at Disneyland Paris. The great thing is they're all really simple to implement and they can save you a lot of money. At this time where everything is more expensive everywhere you go, we all want to be able to have the most magical experience but for a more affordable price so I really hope these tips will help you out thank you so much for watching this video and until next time I hope you have a most magical day bye bye